I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand the strategy to divide polynomials with missing terms. I'll make it very clear when I give you an example. Let me write one. Uh, let us say we need to divide something like x cube minus 7x uh, plus 6. We have to divide this by a term like x minus 3. Let us say that is our question, right? So when you provide when you have to do this division you will note that we have a missing term here the term x square is missing you understand so that is why we need some strategy to solve this strategy is very simple the strategy is to include that missing term with the coefficient of zero for example uh, we could write the same thing as equivalent of x cube plus 0x square minus 7x plus 6 divided by x minus 3. You get the point, right? So the idea here is that if there are missing terms in between, we should actually incorporate them with zero coefficient, right? So that is the whole idea. So let's do this division now. We have already incorporated the term and that is now we have our equation as x cube minus 0x square. You will soon see the importance of this 0x square minus 7x plus 6. And we are going to divide this by x minus 3, right? So I have taken a very simple example because I want to teach you the strategy, right? Okay, so the coefficient here is 1 will multiply by x square, so we get x cube. So we get x cube minus 3x square when you take away minus 3x square see the importance if we would not have written this my 7x would have been here then you might have got confused what to do right now incorporating 0x square does not change the alignment so it makes things smooth to flow so let's take away 3x square from 0x square what we get is 3x square and bring down 7x with a minus sign. There it is. Let's continue the process. We need to multiply now by 3x. Then you get 3x squared minus 9x, right? And take away 9x will give you 2x here. Bring down 6, which is with positive sign. You have to now multiply by number 2. So you get 2x minus 6. When you do 2x minus 6, you don't get 0 here. You get 12. So 12 is your remainder. Perfect. So that is how you divide. And now once you divide, you could at times also write down the division statement. So we could write the division statement as x cube minus 7x plus 6. When you divide that by this, what do you get? You get all that, right? So, so we could write this as equal to multiply divisor by the quotient, which is x minus 3 times x square plus 3x plus 2 plus the remainder 12 right so that is how you could write your division statement let me write here division statement for you so that is the division statement and here you will notice whenever you are dividing uh, by a polynomial that cannot be zero so at times we may also write restrictions so restriction here is that x is not equal to 3 right because that will make it zero so that is how you could actually divide polynomials with missing terms and I, I hope you understand now what I mean by missing terms right some coefficients have zero I mean some terms have zero coefficient so those are the missing terms they should be included when you perform long division or even synthetic division. I hope that helps. Thank you.